If you like sharing and recording your own gameplay, the Xbox Game Bar in Windows is one of the best tools to do that. But it's not perfect and can sometimes run into problems. My name is Adullah, you're watching Gandero Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix your game bar not opening in Windows 11. So the first thing that we're going to do is check if the Xbox Game Bar is enabled. Now you can go ahead and do this by opening Windows settings by pressing Windows key plus I and then heading over to the gaming section. In here you will see the game bar setting option. I'm going to click on it and as you can see allow your controller to open game bar. This toggle needs to be enabled. If that doesn't fix your problem we can try resetting or repairing the game bar. So for this head over to the app section, click on installed apps. Now we're just going to search for game bar and if it doesn't appear click on the, the system components option right here and you should see the game bar show up. Now go to the right click on these three dots and then click advanced options. Now if you scroll down you will see a reset and a prepare button. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try repairing the game bar. So if you click the button you will see this uh, progress bar pops up and this is going to try and fix the game bar uh, any issues it might be facing without affecting its data. If repairing the game bar does not work you can also go ahead and reset it completely and this should in most cases get your game bar up and running. Now if that doesn't work your next step is to change a registry key that should force the game bar to start recording or opening properly. Now we're going to do this by pressing windows key plus R to open the run prompt and typing in regedit then click OK. Windows will ask you for some permissions and then you need to head over to this path. I will also provide this in the video description below and we are going to look for a registry key called uh, enable app capture or app capture enabled whatever the name is on your particular system. If you do not see it we're going to create a new one so right click the empty space click on new and then click on dword 32 bit value. I'm going to name this app capture enabled in camel case press enter and then press enter again to open its settings. Make sure that the value data is set to 1 and the base is hexadecimal and you're good to go. Just go ahead and click OK to save your changes, restart your system and the game bar should start working as you expect it to. If making the registry change didn't work for you, you can try uninstalling the Xbox component of your Windows and then reinstalling it once again. Now you can do this by running a simple PowerShell command. So let me just open PowerShell by going to start and this is the command that we are going to run. It's called uh, actually get dash appx package microsoft dot xbox app and we're going to remove this using this command. Now once you run this, this will delete the Xbox app from your PC completely and once you're done with that you can head back over to the Microsoft Store and then you can just search for the Xbox app again, install it from here and that should fix the problem. Last but not least, if none of this works, uh, be sure that you're on the latest Windows update available. You can do this by pressing Windows key plus I to go to the Windows settings and then heading over to the Windows update section where as you can see, I am up to date. You can click the check for updates button to make sure that there are any pending updates that you've not installed or anything of that sort. But just make sure as a general maintenance tip that your Windows system is updated to the latest update available. This does not count preview updates uh, as you saw I had a preview update pending but I haven't installed it. Uh, a lot of the times these will be just uh, security updates like the one that just popped up. So it isn't going to necessarily affect your system functionality but time to time developers keep dropping updates that affect Windows components. They can sometimes break things and sometimes fix things. 
so it's always best to be on the latest update possible and that's how easily you can fix game bar issues in windows 11. if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video